Ron Sauer, the owner and founder of Excelsior Wood Products. This is my youngest daughter, Leah, locally known here as the Supreme Chancellor. <laughs> so what we're, we're intending to do is uh, share some common practices as far as the installation of decking goes. So everything as usual has a long answer and a, and, a, and a caveat to it. So if you have a good stable product like the Carina where you don't have a lot of expansion and contraction and your deck is far from the ground like it's supposed to be and you're within all the normal construction best practice parameters, I like hidden fasteners the best. The one that we recommend to use the most often is made by Deckwise, this company here they will supply you with everything that you need in a contractor bucket, which we sell cheaper than Amazon sells. That screw goes through this groove and pins the deck and the clip to the joist, and then the next board slides over and the fastener becomes hidden. What the hidden fasteners do in effect is they allow the wood to expand and contract without removing from the joist system below. So the boards are firmly affixed like they would be if they were face screwed. So that's my segue into face screwing, which is also another way to skin the cat on a deck. You pre-drill with your plug cutter, which has a beveled cut that matches the bevel on the screw. And that creates a hole that you then drive the screw through and then you take a pre-made wood plug that fits to that hole and you can insert that into the hole that you just made. So now the screw is covered that way. The benefit to this system is that screws have supreme holding power, even better than the clips. And now you can cover them so it doesn't become hideous and looks like just an ordinary pressure treated deck, which is kind of a shame when you spend a little bit more money for something beautiful, and then every 16 inches you have a set of screws to look at, which are also moisture infiltration points which promote rot and all that kind of stuff. So I like Red Balau, Yellow Balau, Locust, Epe, you know, Angelique is one of my favorites, and we sell all those here. The harder thermally modified woods like what we've been talking about, I prefer those, so no matter what happens, Dogs, cats, neighbors, owners, dropping stuff off the grill, rocks from winter boots, all of that don't have detrimental effects on the surface of the, the deck. So I like all those harder woods. Mm -hmm.